sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go So what time does it open? It will open at 6.30. That's a map in Whittier and a town on schedule. You will be waiting in lineup on lane 3. When it's ready, they will give you a green light. Thank you, Will. Thank you. We are about to go through the mountain. Once you get through the tunnel, it's just a short drive over to the Whittier Harbor. The Whittier Harbor is where we're gonna meet up with our guide from Big Irv's Halibut Charter. We're gonna get the RV parked, get loaded up in the boat, and see if we can't go catch some halibut. All right, Hayden, Brody, Trey. If y'all catch the biggest one, y'all can shut Jimmy up for the week. Yeah. <laughs> we pull up here to the first stop. It's about 280 foot deep. The current tides are not near as strong on the Prince William Sound yeah. side as they are the Cook Inlet side. Even though we're still fishing about 290 foot deep, first fish on is Brody. 300 feet, Brody, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> no. oh, shit, we got a long ways to go. Now, if you catch more than two, you know what you get called, right? Godhead. Godfather. <laughs> Our target fish that we're really trying to catch today is some halibut. We got into these Pacific cod. We decided to move spots. We're going to head outside the sound a little bit. Looking pretty rough, though. This is six and seven. Yeah, it's not going to take any argument with me on that one. No, I don't think any of us are going to argue. Uh, yeah, this is, this is legit six and seven. They were spaced like they were back there. It's one thing, but they're getting steepers. After going out of ways, we talked to uh, the captain and we all kind of made the same decision that a little bit too rough to be out there. Don't know that, how the fishing would be. And it's just a safety decision. We decided to turn around and come back into a different spot inside the sound where it wasn't going to be quite so rough. Make sure you have September, me and Moose We've been fishing for several days uh, down in Seward, the boys are about wore out. The boat ride back into our next spot, you can see Brody trying to catch some flies with his mouth, about to go to sleep. Yeah, Brody. How about hell of it? That sounds good. You want both of them? Oh yeah. Good job, Brody. Go. go, Trey. Yeah, guys. Why is he, why is he calm? Because I'm petting him. <laughs> Bud's like to be petting.
What are we doing? Got to measure that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Another delicious species that we're catching out here today. Hayden got him a very nice black rock fish. Trey, Brody, what do you think? It's fine. <laughs> this sucks. I'd rather be playing Xbox. <laughs> These boys don't play Xbox. That's the cool thing. Kill Bella's, you know, the one where you... <laughs> <laughs> we're going to move back up on top of this flat that we're fishing. We're about 250 foot deep. The big rock that you see out to the side there, there's a ton of sea lions on it. That's so cool. What is it, whales? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That is awesome. As we're making that next drift back across, coming across to the ledge, we're catching fish, catching black rock fish, catching halibut, and what a great surprise, humpback whales. Yeah, look at all of them. How cool is that? That's amazing. Yes. Where's the walrus up on the rocks? Right, got a fish. Fish on. Dang. Huh. Whoa. How cool is that? Here we go, no black. You got one, Trey's got one. Keep his face in the water, please. That is so cool. That's about a once in a lifetime trip. Yeah, it is. Water. He's the good one over there. Listen to that noise. We can hear it inside. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, give me a uh, I wouldn't drop yet. They're coming right behind us. They're coming right for us. You might want to move, guys. They're coming right for us. Hey, John. Are you good? Yes. Holy crap. Those things are huge. Black. Got it. He's coming right for us. <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a giant screw right below us. Gosh, oh my. Yeah, they, uh, they should swim around it. They should? Good. Hey, if I hook. Is it a butter or a cod? It's first time ever. Butter's a 40 pounder. Somebody gonna come real some. Come here, Hayden, for a minute. <laughs> you remember him? Yes. Huh? Are you moving anywhere over there, Hayden? Yeah, I'm moving. Slowly but surely. Just give me some time. Well, I brought it up three quarters of the way for you. <laughs> Big Irv's is a veteran owned, veteran operated halibut charter out of Whittier. If you're over in Whittier, I highly recommend taking Big Irv's out. He'll put you on some good fish. Hayden, are you frozen? Are you frozen? You got your eight jackets on? Yeah. You get more leverage than girls. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 some advice. He's with me. You put your hands up here, you go. There you go. <laughs> and he knows. <laughs> <laughs> That is a box full of delicious fish. We're gonna lay a few of these black rock fish out. Look like a large mouth. It does. Not real experience with the black rock fish, but what I'm being told, these are some really, really nice ones. Bigger than the last one? He is. Wow. 25 inches. Wow. That is a freaking hogger. Brody, are you alive? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Those eyes were freaking clocked all the way back. They <laughs> were. Thank you. As we're leaving Whittier, headed back towards Seward, the mountains again, absolutely beautiful. You can see glaciers up in the top of the mountains, some of the snow runoff. What a great day today. Loaded down with fish, headed back to camp. Beautiful drive back to Seward today. Passing the intersection, if you take a right, you go down to Saldotna, Kenai, Cooper Landing, toward Homer. Stay to the left, it takes you back to Seward. After a really early morning, a long drive up, a long day out on the water, and a long drive back, it's time to feed the family. We have a salad. We have some angel hair pasta. We have some blackened halibut, we have some peas, we have some salad fixings. The halibut blackened is absolutely delicious. Good stuff. That's what I got left over for the pasta from the kid. You see this, Hayden? What? That's what was left in the bowl. <laughs> I'm stuffed now. Good Lord, I can't eat another bite. A bird would go hungry with that. Good thing you got other stuff. <laughs> appreciate you guys watching our video we had a ton of fun making it great experience up here in Alaska hit that like button subscribe to our channel stay tuned for more videos